Hello everyone, welcome to Collective Guidance Tarot. So in this reading, I'm going to look at the current energy of, you know, the overall energy of uh, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's child, you know, the child that was recently born. So there's a lot of controversy surrounding the, the naming of the child. And I've actually been wanting to do a reading. I've just been busy with school because um, I'm a postgrad student. So I just thought that maybe I should do the reading before my lesson because I have a lesson at half past 12 this afternoon. So while I was meditating, um, I actually got a message from my guides. So the message that I got was, she chose her first son but i didn't really understand what they meant by that so i went on google and i searched um can you pick can a surrogate you know no can you pick um I'll, i even took a screenshot so i can include the the screenshot if you guys want me to um can you pick um a gender with surrogacy and the answer was actually yes so i guess that's what they were they were trying to tell me that she actually picked the gender of the first child that she had so yeah that might not be important let us begin um yeah let's pull the cards <sighs> i'm so tired um i've been so busy with school and yeah I'm exhausted okay the two of cups in reverse the ace of cups the queen of pentacles and the sun okay so immediately what i'm getting is that um the two of pentu uh, the two of cups in the upright it's a card of an equal an equal give and take you know like mutual understanding so what i'm getting is that um there wasn't really any um mutual understanding when it comes to like the naming of the child there was actually a lot of disagreements because this card in reverse is is a card that tells us that like two people in a relationship are having conflict they're not seeing eye to eye so this could be that um before the naming of the child because we're asking about the naming of the child before the child was named there was actually you know a lot of um conflict misunderstandings you know they were not really um agreeing on like the same thing so the Ace of Cups is actually a beautiful card. You know, this is a card of love. This is a card of like a new beginning in love. So I'm getting that the new, this new beginning in love is actually the child that, you know, um, you know, the new baby. I don't even know how to like say if the child that Megan gave birth to, like, yeah, the new baby, because it doesn't sit well with my intuition when i say that but yeah so this child was born to this queen of pentacles this is someone who is financially independent this is someone who's like a go-getter this is a very strategic woman when it comes to money this is someone that you know has um good planning skills when it comes to bringing in the pentacles this is someone that is financially stable like when you want financial advice this is the person that you consult with so this child was this, this is the child of um you know the queen of pentacles but i would actually expect to see the queen of cups because then it would make sense but instead this queen is holding coins so i'm getting the energy that um you know this she sees this child as an opportunity which makes sense because the son is actually fi um financial abundance you know um you know luck 
so she sees um this child as this coin as you can see she's holding on to the coin i would expect to see you know the queen of cups here because then you know she if she just recently gave birth to you know a child i wouldn't expect her energy to be that of the queen of pentacles i would expect you know the queen of cups like empathy and like caring like that motherly energy but i'm not seeing any of that here and with the two of cups in reverse it tells me that there was actually a lot of agreement like disagreements when it comes to like the birth of this child and we can see that on the news with the whole controversy surrounding the naming of the child there's actually a lot going on here so this child megan Markle sees this child as someone that a child that is going to bring her a lot of happiness because it's actually funny that um you see a child riding a horse so she sees this like child as a son but there isn't any emotional cards on her side like i said i would expect to see the the queen of cups because she just gave birth you know how fresh i've never been like i'm not a mother i've never been pregnant but i have a little sister and yeah i know you know that energy of you know a woman who just gave birth you're more fragile so I would expect to see, um, you know, the Queen of Cups. But this is not the energy that she is embodying. She's actually, <laughs> and it's so funny that she's actually looking away from the child. You know, she's more focused on the pentacles than this child. She's not even looking at this Ace of Cups, which is supposed to represent this uh, new baby. So I don't know why I keep saying the child because it's a baby. It's a newborn baby. So, Spirit, can you please clarify the Queen of Pentacles? What is this Queen of Pentacles? The Hermit and um, the Five of Swords. So, this is a card of um, taking a break, excluding yourself from um, society, you know, taking a break from life, taking a break from, you know, social interactions and... It was recently announced that they would be taking a break. So I'm guessing that um, Spirit is clarifying the the maternity leave that they said they were going to take. However, you know, there's a lot of conflict, although it's, it's actually a contradictory energy because the Hermit, it's a card of, you know, spiritual, like, knowledge. It's like she's she's a contradiction i'm confused because you can't have the hermit and conflict at the same time oh i don't know if this is an energy of someone in her life that actually wants to walk away from the conflict but she's still holding on to the conflict i don't know if this card represents someone else in her life that actually wants to take a break from everything else but she actually wants you know them because uh, this is a card of conflict mental manipulation you know mind games but someone is willing to throw the sword you know someone is willing to take a break from all the drama but her energy is a like it's a contradiction because you can be the hermit and be involved in conflict or oh, it's telling me that she actually wants to walk away from this conflict and hem it herself i don't know she knows it's it's confusing me because i see this individual as like i see this individual as she's this individual i don't know who these other two people are it's probably someone who wants to walk away someone maybe someone who's advising her that hey man it's actually i think it's a good idea that you know you throw away the swords you throw away the conflict and you know walk away from the situation you know this is this is a suggestion that was made to her or she's contemplating whether she should hem it herself or keep on fighting 
Spirit, can you please explain this contradiction? Okay, now it makes sense. Um, the Six of Swords in reverse. So this is a card of walking away, of leaving things behind, of leaving all the... It's, it's very interesting because um, the Five of Swords and this this is a card that comes after the five of swords so here you are fighting and then here he's letting go of the fight he's surrendering but in reverse it tells me that she's not willing to surrender and she has people who are this is not her energy she actually has people who are advising her that you need to step down you need to throw away the swords but she's not willing to do it she doesn't want to walk away from the conflict this conflict because if this card was in the upright, then I would have said that, okay, maybe she's walking away. She's taking this advice from this wise person. There's actually someone in her life who's, like, uh, advising her, but she, she won't listen. You know, she, I, I think she, she just wants to fight all the time. You know, she just she wants to win all the time, and that's going to be her problem. You know, because the other people, are th they, they've thrown away their swords. She's actually holding three swords. She doesn't want to let go of this conflict. And that will be his big, that will be her biggest downfall. Because I see that there's actually someone who's trying to shine a light to this whole situation and tell her to back down. But she won't listen. Spirit, can you please clarify why? Like, it's crazy that it's like she has taken over the whole reading. This was supposed to be about the naming of the baby, but it's like she her energy has taken over the reading. Yes, the Hierophant. So this is a card of law and order, like religion, following rules, following regulations. And as we know that... Um, the royal family they have um that power so they the royal family actually represents the hierophant because they have that power they have that power to influence regulations they have that power to influence you know the constitution so she's actually being advised <laughs> she's actually being advised to follow you know the regulations she's being advised to you know, follow the rules, which involves, like, letting go of this whole thing. You know, bowing down to the queen. And actually respecting this um, authoritative figure that she refuses to respect. There's actually someone who's, like, level-headed that is trying to reason with her, but she won't listen. So, Spirit, can you please um, clarify the sun? the two of pentacles so she's juggling um there's something that she's juggling you know she's looking at all the potential opportunities that she could have you know with the new naming of you know this child you know she's she's weighing the you know the different opportunities that um this child is going to bring because this this child is um like um you know a, a financial like a new financial um opportunity for her because the, the sun is an opportunity so she's weighing what she can really do with this new opportunity and as you can see at the back the water is unstable so whatever it is that she's doing it's going to backfire on her whatever business venture she has it's going to backfire on her because because as you can see at the back i don't know if you guys can see this ship is about to sink one has already sunk this one is about to sink so she's weighing what she could possibly do with this sun that is right in front of her And it makes sense because while I was meditating, like I told you guys about her choosing the gender, she thought that um, by choosing the, the gender, she was going to, her child was going to get the title. 
and that actually pissed her pissed her off it disappointed her like everything that she does is very strategic because remember i told you that this is someone who's very strategic this is someone who is like detail orientated they don't invest in something unless it can yield them rewards spirit can you please explain this um weighing of options you know the two of pentacles the ten of pentacles uh financial abundance new opportunities new business ventures generational wealth <laughs> generational wealth i think that sums up everything yeah like she's securing the bag i mean she's you know this is generational wealth for her you know by having kids then she's actually weighing all the different things that are going to come to her you know all the amazing things are going that are going to come because you guys have to understand that even though she has left the royal family you know kids are innocent you know she has, she actually sees her her kids as um you know this generational wealth she's according to her she's actually looking at all the beautiful things that are going to come out of you know this new son because already this child is causing a lot of controversy and you know that in of itself brings in um a lot of money because um as a postgraduate um journalism student i can tell you that If someone like if you how do I word this by creating a lot of controversy behind you know the naming of the child then she can it's sort of like a PR machine where she can sell um you know her picture the pictures of the child to like you know the like big news organizations so for her, it's more of like a business venture. It's a, like it's generational wealth. She's secured the bag. So that's basically what's going on with the naming. Because this is not something that is going to end. This is something that is going to be talked about for years and years to come. You know that saying, um, even bad publicity is good publicity. You know, because... Nowadays, news organizations are actually run by PR. You know, that's why you don't really get a lot of independent reporters. It's because news organizations nowadays are more focused on capital than the, you know, the interest of, like, the public. That's why you have people like Piers Morgan being kicked out because, yeah, he's actually going against the narrative that they want to paint. So... Yeah, man, and I'm just going to end the reading. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you in the next reading. I'll post um readings over the weekend because this is a this was a very hectic week for me. I'm just glad that it's over. Bye, guys.